then what is next then we are going to uh, learn about creating role i am going to create two roles so what exactly role is here based upon using the roles we will restrict the user or uh, you know to perform certain action for example a user is there if the user uh, is supposed to create you know uh, is supposed to create schema or not he, he, did he have access to create a you know write a create a table or select data from the table what kind of authorizations that i am going to provide for that user all we will integrate in a role and we will assign this role to the user okay let's look into it then we will get more detail more understanding so now we are going to create uh, two roles one is admin role and another one is user role okay how to create role so now go back to this uh, you know hana database instance again under this uh, particular uh, you know uh, user and authorization management here you have roles and role groups okay um, i am going to create a role now so create role so which role i am going to create now r underscore admin so this is the role which i am going to create now and assign role to myself i don't want to assign as now role you know create role in schema so is this a role re belongs to any schema no uh, role group no and then no just click on save create button now um, a role was created second okay so you see uh, it is a um, mandatory you see it was not created that's why it is not moved to the next screen happen in role group it is asking uh, to assign it to something because it was turned on make it no then it is fine create now uh, so r underscore admin role was created but as of now this role it doesn't have any privileges so now i am going to assign some um, you know privileges to it go to system privileges edit system privileges and i am going to assign some um, privileges to my admin okay so which privileges i am going to assign create schema certificate you know all these uh, privileges that i am going to assign to my admin so let's look into one by one so go to, uh, click on this add symbol so now you can see all the different kind of privileges that uh, we can assign to your role. So the first one which I'm going to assign is a create schema. Okay, where is create schema? It is all in alphabetical order. So go to see uh, create schema. It means the person who is having access to this role can create schemas in the um, schemas in the database. Okay, the next one is a trust admin. trust admin so this is required to create a psc uh, more details we can see in upcoming sessions and the next one is certificate admin certificate admin so this is required to create some certificates okay and um, credential admin credential admin and this is required to create credentials okay and enable to do the enable export and import we need to you know, create, you know export and import this is to the export of data and import of data and then create remote source create a remote source r okay create remote source c so see it starts with see this one so this is to allow the settings uh, the psc purpose okay and the next one is resource admin resource admin so allow viewing of uh, you know uh, some information diagnosis information catalog read This catalog read so allow access to see you know system views and then uh, in file admin this is the one 
so allow altering of system settings if we have this infallit admin we can alter the system settings so these are the roles currently i am assigning to my uh, admin user and later point when we are performing some actions and we are not don't have uh, you know um, privileges to do that then also we can come here and uh, do this one okay assign a further privileges here so i am assigning the privileges to my admin user and then i am clicking on save button so now almost to nine privileges we added to our user okay then close it what next so assigning role to user so currently i created a role admin role and then i am going to assign this admin role to the to my admin user okay so go back here go to again to the instance so in the instance we are going to this user management users okay under this for the admin user select the admin user or else we can do one more thing um, we can go to this uh, role itself Our underscore admin is a assigned users. There is an option called assigned users. Okay, edit assigned users and then assign user. Here you can assign the user directly. So I can I'm creating admin I'm selecting admin one. Select. So now this role was added to the admin uh, you know admin one user. Then save. That's it. Okay. It was saved. So now for the uh, for the admin user, I assign this role. Next, creating a schema. So now what we are going to learn is how to create a schema in the HANA Database Explorer. So now to create a schema, so that part I am we are not gonna do from here. So again we, we are going to the instances, and the, from the instance now we are going to. Hmm, open HCP HANA Database Explorer. So as such, uh, most of the time, you know, it is are not opening from my Chrome window. So in such cases, I am opening it from the edge. So now we are in the HANA database explorer. So okay. what we can do, you see on the left side top corner, we can create open SQL. And if we expand the catalog tab here under the catalog tab, if we click on schemas here, we can check the schemas which are available. Currently we have only DB admin schema. Okay, so we are not supposed to do any operations on the DB admin. This is mainly for the administration purpose. So to do our regular project related works, we need to create our separate schemas. Okay, how to create a schema by writing a statement, create schema, and then I'm going to create a schema called SAP underscore MM. Okay, this is the schema I'm going to create. Using this particular SQL statement, we can create a schema, execute it. So I created the schema. Uh, but uh, you know, one more thing is, um, I create schema from here but for example we have two users now currently i am in db admin as i said like we are not supposed to uh, do any operations uh, using you know on from the dba admin uh, you know uh, user okay so i want to add this database with a new user right so how can i do that so by clicking you know we can disconnect uh, one second whichever schema i created um, i want to delete that schema then we can recreate the schema one more time so what i am going to do is uh, i am going to drop this schema 
okay by writing drop schema sap mm what it will do it will delete this schema okay uh, done this schema was uh, deleted some statement was executed successfully okay done now what i am going to do i am going to dis i am not i am going to disconnect from this user so there is an option here disconnect from the database i can do this like this and then i can connect to sql to a different database user so i am connecting to this database with a different user sorry one minute so i right click here add database with a different user from here also we can do now here we need to provide a username and password so user is a, a admin one is one user right which we created admin one okay and the password let me check my okay in calculators okay so this is on display name so my display name is uh, my, i will provide here admin my username okay and then click on okay so now what happened same database instance got added here with a new user called admin1 means which have, which we created in our uh, previous session okay now if i expand it if i go to catalog i can uh, see all these ones okay if i go to this schema um nothing is there now what i am going to do now i am going to um, create a schema now from here so currently if you see my particular uh, uh, database you see the current uh, whichever console i created now so this create console was mapped to the schema dba admin now if i again create the schema this schema was created with the user db admin so first what i need to do i need to disconnect it okay my sql console i need to disconnect from the uh, db admin and then i need to connect with a different user so with admin one i am going to connect now you see my current schema is connected to admin one okay so now whichever operations now i am uh, sql statements or operations i am doing via this uh, sql command prompt all these are done by the admin so system will check the privileges when i am doing such activities um, you know so now if i am to create schema now system if i have privileges to create schema then only now schema will be created because when we creating the admin user um, we provided the other privileges to create schema so schema was created successfully okay now after creating schema what we need to do we have to provide privileges okay um, so the next uh, statement what we are going to write is grant all privileges on schema sap underscore mm to um, user uh, admin one okay okay so the point here is uh, since uh, the user which i logged in is same as i am giving here it is showing this issue so just to make sure what i is here i can give db admin also db admin is nothing but the other user which we have here okay done so like this uh, for example whatever schema you created for the project now that schema you want to uh, you know on that schema if someone other user wants to also work then what we do we will provide the privileges you know uh, on the schema to other users in this way okay i hope it is clear so the next one is uh, granting select query access to user now on this schema so currently you are created schema why we created schema under the schema only we can create multiple tables and everything now uh, whatever tables we are create we are going to create now those on those tables we need to provide select query access to the user okay because users want to see the data but not modify the data so for that reason now we are going to um, write a statement here grant 
select only select kind of operation on schema um, on schema sap underscore mm to who which one user one user one is the second user which we created currently this user one doesn't having any authorizations but now i am providing an authorization on my schema um, to this user just to perform the select operations only okay so this is how we can grant select authorization to users on any schema how to view the objects owned by the user so now using this particular select statement we can uh, you know uh, check the objects that are owned by one particular user so uh, you can check it on your screen now next what is next we are going to do is uh, creating a master data table 